I floss too. I floss. <laughs> I screw it up. Okay, <laughs> this is how we start today. <laughs> I'm Leanne. And I'm <laughs> the one who doesn't follow instructions. <laughs> and this is Lost, Lost in and Floss. Lost. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's how we're starting today. I'm not taking it out. <laughs> yeah. What you see is what you get. Yeah. It's all it's only been a week, but um Which is maybe why. Like I I don't know. Well you would think you would be in the groove of it. Yeah, better maybe, than two but... weeks. <laughs> so I'm not so groovy. It's later in the day. <laughs> Barb got done working. It was yeah, it's been it was a good work day. Yeah. Had a lot accomplished, so See, so and then you can be silly. Yeah, I guess. And turn your brain off. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, okay. It it does feel weird because it feels like we were just sitting here in this room. It does. Because we were. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And not, not much has changed either. <laughs> Kathy's not on the ledge tonight. <laughs> no, nope, no gargoyles. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy from the Die House asked if she could come in st come into the sewing room with us mm -hmm. some afternoon and Barb said yes but you might have to sit out on the ledge. <laughs> I didn't really mean it, Kathy. So Kathy immediately thought of a gargoyle. I I don't know. My brain didn't really go there, but uh, so it, she said all she could do is picture herself looking like a gargoyle looking in the window. <laughs> Kathy, there's plenty of room for you. Yeah, we can fit a chair in here. Yeah. Actually, you could have the sewing chair. Yeah, there you go. You might be down like, here yeah. and we're up here. Wait, where are you, Kathy? Because <laughs> yeah. we're sitting on high, high stools. Yes. Yes, we are. Which director's chairs? Yes, we which do. is appropriate. Yeah, because we feel important. <laughs> yeah, we're directing our our film. It kind of <laughs> it kind of takes me back to our craft fair days when we'd sit behind the little podium yeah. in director's chairs. Yeah. So we like being up high so we can see people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm, kind of like being in the SUV in chair version. Yeah, that's that, That's about it. Like <laughs> SUV. Honda Accord, yep. you know, <laughs> you're like, okay, <laughs> oh, enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, how are we going to start? Questions. We asked our viewers, we had a giveaway, and we will pick a name at the end of the video because I'll make you wait. Yeah. Suspense. But our give giveaway was for this project bag that I made. A waxing moon design um, pattern and some flosses that go with it. That's so, so cute. We did pick a winner. I'm so excited to win. Our, <laughs> funny how that worked. Um, but we will, but our question was what year did you graduate high school? Because that mm -hmm. was our magic number was 1976, the year we graduated from high school. The bicentennial year, which is why we're dressed in yeah, red, red, white, white and, blue. and blue. Get it? It's all, <laughs> not just random. Yeah, in our giveaway, red, red white, and blue. blue. Yeah. yeah, so. Getting you ready for all the patriotic seasons coming yeah. up. Yeah, so we, we had our viewers, which is kind of what I thought, mm -hmm. Range from 84 to 28. And I I love the fact you're who, I can't remember who, who it was, but my mom is 84 or going to be. No, she's going to be in another month. And I just think it's so cool that you're stitching. Yeah. And my mom, she's not stitching. She's a little older than that. <laughs> But she watches. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <I> see you. <laughs> That's her second shout out, right? I know. She well, you know, fun. moms. Yeah. It's always got to be. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I know he doesn't watch it, but. <laughs> well, what if he's in the room? <laughs> he, he might be, but I don't. I don't know how she watches it. If she watches yeah. it on her computer or phone, I don't know. You'll just have to let us know. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, our people mm -hmm. that answered were from age eighty-four. Graduated in 1953 to 28. Graduated in 2009. Um, and then we were commenting the 28-year-old must have had. Her mother probably asked her to make a comment so yeah. she could have another chance of winning the project bag. Which is brilliant. Yes. <laughs> and, if, and if that's not the case, I am, I, I'm so happy that, that you're 
doing cross stitch. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm trying to think who was it? Um, oh, she's really a funny woman and she, <laughs> it, she does floss too, but she was talking about how her son's a comedian. Oh yes. Um, um is it Caroline from Sister I think yeah. Stitching Sisters Sister, yeah. or something. And there's like just that. one. So Yeah. Which confused me. I think it's Caroline. Yeah. Or Carolyn. Um but she I don't like that her son was talking about in his routine that um how he watches his mom's YouTube videos, but it screws up his al algorithms. Yeah. As they think he's a six-year-old woman. I love that. I, I know. That was That's, funny. Yeah, if you have a chance, it was at the end of her video. Or is that, it was actually pretty funny. It was funny. So, but, but yeah, and um, most of the people, I just kind of kept track, old-fashioned style. And most of the people graduated in 1975, a year mm -hmm. before us. So, well, and it, you know, like I know people have posed the question if any younger people are stitching. Which, yeah, I think it's fantastic that mm -hmm. younger people are stitching. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many, I mean, there's such a variety of patterns out there. Right. For something for every, mm -hmm. really everyone. And yet everyone embraces what other people are doing. It's mm -hmm. not like, oh, you're doing something modern. I, I don't right. like seeing that. Right. No, everybody really likes seeing everybody else's things. Well, you can appreciate the craft. And the and work the that goes into. And, right. Yeah. You know, I mean, just because it's not something you'd stitch doesn't mean that you can't appreciate the workmanship that goes into it. Right. So, so we thought you know, that was just interesting. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it was fun, and it's... we got a lot of comments on, you know, mascots and and funny little high school stories, and well, good yeah. thing we didn't share some of ours. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think what what a funny little house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. So we we've got story. We should do that sometime yeah. when we run out of things to talk about. Like the time <laughs> you you told me to turn one way, and I ended up driving through a field. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is before GPS. Yeah, it was well, before, and it was dark out. I'll give you that. Yeah. But also, I'm like driving through a field. And I'm like, this is not the right way to the road. Yeah. And then there were like, because we had come from a parking lot at a store, there were like the cement things that the cars pull up. So I couldn't just like pull back into the parking lot. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Thank you, Leanne. What a co-pilot. I, 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 I am not a good co-pilot. I will admit that. I will drive and let somebody else tell me where to go. Oh, see, and, and I was um, commended for my co-pilot ability. I was the co-pilot on my um, girls trip to Waco. And even on Saturday, we were together again and they're like, the driver was like, you were the best co-pilot. <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, Jeep, uh, like Waze and all the other yeah. electronic tools makes it easier. It makes it a lot easier, but yeah, I'm not very good at it. But that. they were all like, you remain calm even when you could have been screaming at, at Kelly. <laughs> I'm like, well, I mean, I know how I'd feel. Like, if you're kind of flustered about what don't... to do, and then if somebody's screaming at you. And if you're somewhere strange, you're right. driving a... You're probably a strange driving a, a car that you rented. Yeah. You know, so that's odd, too. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, that, that was, a, that was mm -hmm. a good question. I am surprised. We had one person that would not reveal when they graduated high school. But other than that, I, I was surprised how many people were willing to... Mm -hmm. To just say when they graduate, not that there's like who cares? not why would you care? Yeah, I think, and I think too. Yeah, that's that's the great thing is like you bond no matter what the age because of the common hobby. Yeah. So. so, and I also appreciate all the fun comments I got on my lamb cakes <laughs> yes. at the end. <laughs> so I don't know if those of you that follow Instagram, um, I put the picture of this year's uh, version of it. On Instagram. Yeah, we're Lost in Floss 2. Lost in Floss, the number 2. Because mm -hmm. um, there's two of us. Mm -hmm. And it's on there. Um, yeah. It's and then I, and I also did a, a parade oh, of yeah. all the ones that Barb 
showed me mm -hmm. like the previous one. So I think there were 10 or 12 right. or something like that. Right. Mm, so. Yeah, so they're all out there if you want to see more yeah. of them. So and, but but the hashtag lamb cake, oh my goodness, there there are some really fun ones. Oh really? Yeah, like not not to that extreme, but like I don't know, just and the hashtags for some of them are very entertaining. Oh. It made me feel better about my fail last year. So like, yeah, I huh. didn't see that, and I I wish I would have. I, I got a different phone, so my pictures aren't on there. Oh, the one year that. Um, my husband's mom made lamb cakes. She always made two of them, and she gave us one, and then we were having Easter at our house, and that was going to be the dessert. Well, we have this little thing that the day before <laughs> yeah. Easter, you can eat the keister. <laughs> and so my husband started eating the end of it. Well, we only had a half a lamb <laughs> left to feed, I don't know, 10, 12 people for dessert, so that year, my mother-in-law brought hers over, and we put the two ends together, <laughs> and we had like a two-headed two -headed lamb. lamb. Oh, that's hysterical. Yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> well, we always saved the um, tail end. I don't know if I told this last video. The tail end for my brother. He always wants the butt of the lamb. Oh, really? So I was, um, I cut it off purposely to save it for him, and then I thought somebody ate it, because oh. I went in the other room, and I couldn't, I didn't see it anywhere. Well, I forgot I put it on the piano just to get it out oh, of the way. Oh, so nobody would see it. So it is now in the freezer waiting for him. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, uh, so. But it was fun to hear, you know, a couple people talked about their traditions. Um, and how they made them, or years ago, yeah. brought back memories. Yeah. yeah. I, I love just the way the mold itself looks. Um, the old ones. Oh, yeah, my mother-in-law's is really old. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Like, I leave mine sitting out on the counter because it's kind of cool looking. Yeah. So, was it your mom's? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. I think, I mean, she, for a while she even had the, um, I think it was in a magazine. Like, they showed you how to decorate it and you know, make a couple different styles. Um, mm. But the <laughs> our funny land cake story was my mom, you know, with being a caterer, she had recipes galore. And that was before electronics. So you had to have your physical recipes. Well, one year she lo lost the pound cake, lamb cake recipe and decided she would use my sister's friend's lamb cake recipe, which was a pound cake. And Everyone was like, well, the cake was good, but lamb cake is not spice cake. You oh. cannot have a spice cake for the lamb. It is not tradition. <laughs> it's not acceptable. Oh, so then finally she came across it. And then at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm copying it too. So that yeah. if she ever loses it again, I have it in my mitts. So. That's a good idea. Yeah. So okay. On to the real so stuff. So let's talk about stitching. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We can do that. Okay. Um, okay. Haul. Oh, I have a little haul. Haul shopping. Um, I'm oh, getting it is. a little <laughs> haul. It is. A little haul. <laughs> Lizzie Kate May stamp it, flip it, whatever it's called. Um, I know right away I'm changing the colors. I'm not sure what I'm changing them to, but it just... It doesn't scream spring to me. So oh, and something more that fits in your house. Yeah. So I don't know what I'll do with it, but I will do something different. Um, and it'll be kind of fun because I, I really like April was so bright and cheery. So I'll probably do something more bright colors. I feel like for something that's only up for a month, I don't have to have it matchy matchy. Oh, I that's can just true. have it fun. Yeah. Whatever I like. Yeah. So that's what I have. How about you? I have nothing. I shy. It's only been a week. <laughs> I had stuff last week. Yeah, that's right. So that's right. So yeah, I was good. <laughs> so then whips. Um so whip it up. I continue to work on Prairie Schooler Rabbit Run. And I love this chart. I did too. I changed out the red because um, the call for color is really has some brown undertones. But 
I really don't have too much color in yet, but it's I'm very pretty. making progress on the gray part at least, which is a lot. A lot, yeah. I um somehow I'm off <laughs> in some of my stuff, so then I was counting to make sure that this was even with that one. And that's the approach I'll have to take because I'm not really sure where I'm off. Yeah. In the rabbit somewhere. Don't you hate that? Yeah. Well, and I realize, like, when you have a precise chart like this where parts of it have to match up, it's kind of a pain. Well, you know, and this is kind of reminds me of Quaker style oh, like, yeah. that they talk about. So would I hate See? doing a sample, like a real sampler? I probably would. And and a Quaker is is on my bucket list. I want to do a Quaker piece. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I got a lot to right. stitch I even, that. I mean, there's ones that I know that if, if I had to decide, I probably could come up with a couple, like, pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I have lots of things to stitch in the meantime. Um, then from Waxing Moon Design, Spring House Trio. And I'm doing the Yellow House, which is the Flower House. And... I got a little bit further on that. Oh, that's so pretty, too. Um, I was switching out the colors to colors I had, and then I accidentally used the wrong color green for the grass and the leaves. But I think now I'm just going to leave it. It's a little bit brighter than the one, I think it was shutter green that it was supposed to be. So, um... Yeah, it's kind of a fun one. Oh, and you know, do you know what you're stitching that on? I know somebody mentioned oh, if you could mention what the I think it's I think were. this is white chocolate. It's thirty two count, I know for sure. Okay. Pretty sure it's white chocolate. Um no, it is not. It is the called for color. Cause I remember I found this. It's um lamb's wool linen. There you go. So lambs will. And does that look like 28 count? I don't have my glasses on. I, it's either 28 or 32. Um, the call for is 28, but I think when, whenever, if I can find the color and I like the color, I'll go with either 28 or 32, mm -hmm. whatever. I'm kind of like that. And too. I'm stitching two over two regardless, so. Um, that's all. Oh, I have this other one. Should I wait for this? Yeah. Okay. Because we'll do that. Okay. Um, then I have, the, the, I've just been stitching on, let's see, the Scarlet House, American Farmhouse. And I got a little further. I'm working on the barn. And I don't know if you can see, well, you can see it. Mm -hmm. Um. I just I, I love I love this piece. Yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah. And okay. this is on um thirty six count Edinburgh bark linen. Really pretty. Right. Edinburgh, yeah. I can't wait to start mine. I think I'm gonna start it soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, start it soon. Yeah, it's fun. And I just I love every color that's in it. Yeah. I only have well, and you're probably done with all yours, but I have Three of my Stitch 9 challenges left. So that really isn't awful. No, I think I, we were counting. I think I have all of mine except one because I think autumn time mm. is in there and mm -hmm. I haven't even started it. Yeah. Well, and so. Pumpkin Patch is almost done. Betty Broomstick's almost done. The Autumn ABCs um, by Blue Ribbon um, is the one I'm tearing out and redoing because I did it two over two and I want to do it one over oh. two so that one's more of a but a, <laughs> a bigger one but time I think it'll be too. quicker the second time around yeah so well yeah you'll be used to the stitch <laughs> <laughs> okay any finished items um should I do this one yes well because did you well, I showed it last time, oh. but it wasn't in a, it wasn't close to being an FO, but <laughs> sorry for the little clip. <laughs> I was trying to get it done last night and, um, I ran out of stuffing. I didn't have a big box like Leanne. I thought I had <laughs> adequate amount and 
turned out no. And I'm using well, the little it, it print on the back. It does take more than you think It takes that a lot more. Takes. Yeah. But I think I'm looking, I found this old rickrack. I think I showed this before, but I might just put one of these colors around the outside. Just as a simple finish. But I really like your red bird thing too, so I'll uh, see. Yeah. The little I you know, and this Rick Rack you gotta show that up closer. It is very cool. It's probably it's old. Yeah. Like But look at how pointy years, it is. I don't know. You don't when see. was Rick Rack invented? I don't know. Um, don't know. but it's probably I don't know how old. Probably at least fifty years. It's very I think 60. it's very cool. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So. so then I just have one finish and it's Prairie Schooler Santa. And what is this one? Nineteen ninety five. Oh yeah, this was the one that was hard to find. And there are I missed a row in the world. And then it kind of screwed up some of my other stuff. But He's I just went most, with it. He's got most of most the world, the world in his, in his hands. hands. Except for one row. <laughs> but I don't think you can tell. No, you can't. And It's great. Who's going to see it on the tree and go, oh my God, one row off. Me. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> oh, that one will be perfect except it's except one row <laughs> off. Wait, now if you put the clown in front. The lights are twinkling, can... Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could be tempted to not say anything about the missing girl. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. What else do you have there? That's, this is um, for Mania. Oh. So then, let's see. FFO. Nothing. Barb has a half FFO with that pillow. Yeah. Thing, working, like, working on the FFO. Yeah. So. Oh, um... I don't know how many fistfuls short of a finished project. Yeah. A fluff. Well, yeah. That, those pillows take way more than yeah, you think they, they do. take. They yeah. do. So hopefully so. by next video I should have it complete. Yeah. And then um, let's go. We're moving right along. Fast. I know. It's... Well, let's move. Let's go into um, Blast from the Past. Okay. And then after that, then we can talk right. about Mania. Okay. Maybe. Um, I forgot to show this last week. But um, for those of you familiar with Pumpkin Patch, this was from the same magazine. And I finished it in 1990. I'm sorry for the glare. Now, was it the same? I think did, it, did all three all seasons come in the one magazine? No, no. This was in a different... Same designer, same, but same magazine. Right. And I don't Different have, issue. I don't have the issue anymore, so I couldn't even tell you which one it was in. But this... I don't know why. I just love this one with the little quilt on the line and the bunnies. and um, It makes me wonder if there were others to the series. So if any of you oh. still have those issues from, you know, they were probably from the late, I think, 89, 88, 89, somewhere around there. Um, if you know if there's any other quilt ones i just be curious do you know what the designer's name is no i'd have to look Does in the look, pumpkin patch. yeah look on that and then look at her yeah her but name. i mean like i can see i have um <laughs> like dark a dark thread i didn't clip you know it's like that's very cute well and i think back i probably you know my kids were very little so i probably was doing this like nap time in between and, uh, changing diapers yeah, and like running oh, after kids please take a nap so i can stitch <laughs> uh, yeah mm, so that's kind of fun that. though oh. you want to throw that under I there just put it right here okay so then there we go sorry about that that's okay <laughs> um should we talk about this? Oh, we did that. Mm -hmm. That, and then, then Mania, or should we talk about? Let's talk about Mania. Yeah, let's talk about Mania. Yeah. Mania My Way. Mania hashtag. Oh, yeah. Mania My Way. Right. Um, we want to participate in Mania, but I think we both feel like to do 19 starts. That would get me so out of control. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know that my heart can handle it. 
<laughs> you know, we're Stress older, cast. you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't know. That's, that's a little, unless it's, yeah, I guess it just it depends just your on your personality. comfort level. Yeah. Right. It's just everybody has their thing that they want to do. If you guys would see how my coach looks sometimes when I stitch, I, I really, I, I just ordered my floss away bags because I feel like that's going to help me keep things about. in control. But like I'll have two or three charts and I'll work on something and then I'll have threads all around and then I just push it to the end of the couch. And then I don't want to put it all away because it's like, Because well, you might want to stitch that again. I might want to stitch it again and I might need to know what colors I use so I don't really want to put them away if I changed them out. And yeah, it's just been a hot mess. I know you can't relate to it. Uh, well, I try to stay organized, and no. I have my book that I write things down on. Mm -hmm. If I change flosses, I'm trying to write that down right. in the book. Um, it doesn't always happen. Well, and but... I should try to write. Like, I probably have the fact I look, I used lamb's wool written down in my book, but then I forget that I write it down in my book, so it's as good as not writing And that I do try, I try to write down the fabric that mm -hmm. I'm using, because it usually will have a sticker on it somewhere, mm -hmm. and I'll try writing that down. Well, and that's probably where my problem comes, because some of this stuff is stuff I got from, like, saved from the trash, you know, so I don't really know. That sounds so terrible. It's like, well, yeah, it wasn't from the trash. Flea bar, flea. It was from thrift the store. store. It was all kitted up, and so, like, I don't know for a fact it was the call for yeah. color. I don't really know what it was, but I don't know where this piece even was from. You know, it's like. Well, you got to use what I'm you just, have. I'm just not or that organized. Like, I'd rather stitch than spend a lot of time being organized but yeah. but see okay isn't that weird that it just didn't like what i was saying yeah the camera just turned off <laughs> all by itself you don't know why i did that and is it's, there a gargoyle on the roof there might be a gargoyles trying to stop us <laughs> kathy are you out there <laughs> <laughs> oh, as you were saying when you first started stitching. when I first started like I had to start from scratch with fabrics and stuff oh. and I think when you find something like that mm -hmm. you're starting with like a pile of stuff that then you have to figure out what it right. is and then you know for a while I was leaving the stuff together and then I'm like well this is stupid because if I don't stitch this for five years or if I never stitch it, why should I have this nice fabric or all these over-dyed flosses and not sitting in, you know, this kit, essentially. Yeah, totally, totally agree. So, so I think that might be, yeah. you know, when you're you're kind of starting from behind to begin with, where I had nothing. I had nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had some floss, but... So you were organizing as you acquired. That was my goal. And, like, <laughs> now I... I told you I told you how I brought that basket back from Waco. Yeah. On the plane. So now that's my stitching project basket in the family room. Oh see. Yeah. And so I won't just be like throwing them in this bin or that bin or See. Yeah, and that helped me because I found like the perfect basket that was in my son's closet holding his shoes. <laughs> it it just is the perfect basket for stitching. And if I have mm -hmm. if it's too full then the overload will come up here in the sewing room because I'm like, you know, then then I need to finish something to right. empty it out a little yep. bit. Yep. And well, so. and I, I kind of categorize my stuff into active whips and non-active. Oh. So, I don't know. So, I forget who it was that was talking about making lists. And Somebody. I'm like, that's me. Because I love to break <laughs> things down and then, oh, Check. how many God. whips do we have? Or cross them out and then they move to the, you know, need to be FFO pile. And then you get to write them in the FFO pile. And wow. it's so fun. Well, see, you're organized. It's just. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I don't want to spend the time sometimes because I have limited stitching yeah. time. And so I don't want to spend the time. But I have to say, like, since Easter, because we had a big Easter celebration, I like that night. I'm like, okay, I'm taking down the tables. I'm 
washing the tablecloths, I'm putting away the dishes. Like normally I'd be like, oh, I'm tired. I'm just gonna relax tonight. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna try to like keep up with things. Yeah, I, I always remember, like I was, I read some book and I can't even remember what the name of it was. And they said, remember the word Ohio, only handle it once. Mm -hmm. And that really, I really get, will go through that when I don't feel like hanging up my jacket and I want to just throw it on a chair. Mm -hmm. Like, Ohio. And then you hang it up and you never have to worry about it again. Like you, you put your table stuff away. Now you don't have to worry about mm -hmm. it. Well, it, it, yeah, it, it is nice. But then that spurred me on to like take everything out of our coat closet because I was putting the table boards away in there and we had so many shoes. And, and then, so that was like sitting out for a day or two and then I, like finally I'm like looking at the bottoms of some of my tennis shoes I'm like you know like you forget which ones are the new ones which ones are the old ones and I'm like oh <laughs> so I started tossing some in the garbage because it's like these are clearly you know well once used. you have five <laughs> pair <laughs> don't need that many so you only have two feet I, I feel like, you know, spring, time to purge yeah. and organize and all that stuff. I agree. So. Yeah. Okay. One more red oh, yeah. we went down. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so we thought we thought this would be a quick one. Wait. So does that make you a Felix and I'm the Oscar? Well, but sometimes I'm the Oscar and you're the Felix. I don't know. Uh, I think so. Sometimes. You didn't see it when I well, walked into to... this room today. Oh, well. There was stuff all over. <laughs> well, but when as, you're working, was, there's stuff all over. When I was uh, telling Leanne that uh, I felt like I was a football player, like, going through my sewing room because I had to, like, twist this way and twist that way and, like, this contorted path to get through. But that's because I have all my frames and stuff up well, there. Well, see, and that, too, I mean, it... Like having a room mm -hmm. dedicated for your stuff makes the world a difference. Yeah. Well, I do. The world a difference. I have a room and a half. Yeah, but you got to get it organized. Yeah, it's not organized. Yeah. Plus, I have a couch in there, and I'm like, I shouldn't have the couch no, in there. you just need a little lounge chair. <laughs> well, no, I took it because I was thinking grandkids for sleepovers. Oh. But it's like the room's always too junked up that. <laughs> <laughs> we put them in another room, rather. <laughs> okay, okay, oh, yeah. okay. Sorry. Let's go. But we're, I don't even remember. What, oh, we're okay. So we're talking about mania. Oh yeah, mania. Yeah. So mania my way. So this is. So what we're doing for mania my way, Barb's suggestion, was work on one piece for nineteen days. You can work on other pieces in that nineteen mm -hmm. days, but you have to at least touch that piece and put some stuff yeah. into it and my own personal goal and maybe i won't reach this but i'm gonna try for like an hour on this project every day of those 19 days so that'll give me 19 hours i'll maybe get three rows done because <laughs> what i am yeah, working I don't know on how long it takes you to do one row. is oh gosh a long time um, this is a dimensions kit and it's called Holiday Glow. And I've shown this, I don't know how many times before, and I haven't worked on it at all. So it'll look just the same, but this is the first time I'm starting from the top down. So really, I'm hoping to get like down to maybe like the snowman scarf by the end of Mania. I feel like in 19 hours. Yeah, I have no idea how long it takes to do. It takes a long time because there's, at least for me, I'm, I'm sure people are better. Because you're constantly changing You're changing colors. colors and just even looking at the chart, you know, trying to find your place. And that's why I switched to the method of every 10 rows I try to justify it to make sure I'm not off. Yeah. Um, so we'll see how that works. And then after after those things, I was thinking about other rules I wanted to do. Some of it was thinking, should I just work on existing thing? Like, no, that's no fun. So I was thinking maybe I'll I'll start five new things for the month of May is the fifth month. Wow. Okay. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Yeah. Basically, the rest of it beyond 
working on the stocking because <laughs> I feel like I have to get that done. He's going to be two. And he has another brother on the way, so... Oh, it's a brother? Mm -hmm. You know it's a brother? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'll have to be starting on stocking number four. <laughs> Gotta get it going. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's fun. Yeah, it is fun. So, mm, so that's it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to follow Barb's, and I'm going to do work on my Friends of the Heart. And I know I've showed this, and I I don't know if I can finish it then or not. I would think you almost but, could. Yeah. So this is what I have so far. And I haven't worked on it simply because I know that I'm going to work on it mm -hmm. for Mania. And that's kind of how I got with the stocking. I'm like, I just need to get this as my dedicated project again. Because when I got back into stitching, I just worked on stockings. And... That's all I stitched on. And, you know, it was kind of fun because it was just easier to keep your place and know where you were at. But then I saw all the other beautiful charts there are to stitch. Floss, <laughs> floss two kinds of ruins. I know. <laughs> Ruin me. <laughs> because you do, like, well, I know we've said it before, we don't have an L&S, so mm -hmm. then you never go shopping to see what's out there. But I might go shopping this weekend. Oh, oh, oh that's right. <laughs> yeah, so I get um, my son, or our son, I should say, lives in Minneapolis. So I get a text the other night. Oh. So what it, So what do you guys want to do this weekend? I know Mom wants to go to Stitchville, but is there anything else? And I was just cracking up. I'm like, oh, he even knows the name of the store. <laughs> Good job, Nick. <laughs> I, I was trying to think, what is the name of that store? And then... <laughs> All right. So, well, so I'm hoping to get there. I oh, yeah. I don't know that for a fact. Do you know where it, how far it is? Yeah. I well, I took Nick's truck. That was before we were doing videos. I'm okay. trying to think it was last it's at least a year ago. Okay. And we were up there for some some event. I can't even remember what, but I like I knew I would only have like maybe an hour, but I was like I was determined to get there. Hey. So I got out my my uh GPS and I put it in. I was gonna even Uber there, but then it would have been like, I don't know, twenty five bucks a ride. <laughs> and then wait for me until yeah. I get out. <laughs> and I'm like, no, um and I can't remember what what Jim and Nick were doing. But um finally Nick's like, Okay, you know, you can use my truck. And then I was thinking, I'm like, well, as a child, you use my car all the time. Why do I feel bad about borrowing your truck to go to Stitchville? That's true. And is there, isn't there anything near Stitchville that, like, all three of you could go and you would spend time in Stitchville? And they I, I was trying to, Like Gander Mountain yeah. or something <laughs> like that. I was trying to... I know there... I think there's a mall close by but I really didn't like check out the area yeah, you gotta look to see what's around there and go I let's really... all three go and then you guys go <laughs> you go to the to micro bash <laughs> bash <laughs> pro shop yeah. or something like that and, yeah and so we'll see I mean I'm not gonna hold my breath for sure that I'll get there but I would like to get there well, as I long could. as it's in the back of your mind as as an option yeah so yeah that'll Bucks, be fun I was well I I mean, I want to watch the Bucks game. We're pretty excited in Milwaukee. The Bucks are doing very good in the playoffs. So yeah. Fingers crossed. Again, hi, Giannis. Because I know you probably watch us. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he does. Like, in his spare time, man. Yeah, really. You know. <laughs> you can't just play basketball all no. the time. Uh, but um, I was hoping maybe the game would be on so there'd be pre-game things for them to watch why I went to the store. <laughs> <laughs> but it's on Sunday. And Stitchville's closed oh, on Sunday. But see, you're so nice thinking, make sure they have something that they enjoy mm -hmm. so that you can enjoy your thing. Well, I just, <laughs> I would like more than an hour this time. <laughs> but but then again, I'm like, mm, you know, I have lots of things I should be working on. I so. know, but it's always fun to see what's out there. Yeah. <laughs> Anything new. Yeah. So, and that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stitch on that at Stitchville. You're going to, or not, <laughs> Mania. Ooh. 
The stitch News on alert! Like, yeah. I was going to be in no. the back room stitching away. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then you're going to work on your stocking mm -hmm. for mania, and mm -hmm. then we'll see what else happens. We'll see. Might be what other kind of rules will come up. Yeah, I. I kind of feel like you know we we're pretty rigid for february so i think this should be more fun yeah i agree so then um do you I have, have i have some blasts from the past oh yeah um, oh i thought if, that was your blast from the past well it's kind of the a stop the stitchy floss, picture blast from the past. oh okay good oh <laughs> i do so as referenced before oh <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Oh, I can't oh, say that. Don't say that. No, he's not. I think he's cute. Um, <laughs> that's why I I just meant because he's so up close looking. But um, we took painting class, and I can't remember where this guy was from. I don't either. But I even did his back. Little cotton tail. Little tail. <laughs> that's really cute. So I, he still makes me happy. Yeah, I should brought. I should. And then some I have stuff one on. more item. About him. Can you guess? Oh! <laughs> I don't have this anymore. I know you don't. That's why I brought mine over. I just got to get it out of the bag. So he, yeah, he's a little worse for wear. Well, he's, he's, he's pretty old? old. Like, I think he's like 30-some years old. Yeah. So Leanne and I made these. I think this is, we bought these baskets at the place where I had the Driving in the field incident, only it was a different store by then. Oh, I don't know what store. It was Treasure, Treasure Island, Island. Oh. but then it became like, like Atlant Zares or was it something Spartan like that. Spartan Atlantic? No, it was something different. Oh. But anyways, we bought these baskets, and um, this is what I think we've told the story about. Our friend was dating <laughs> someone who saw this at my house and then showed up at Leanne's house and... Uh, his head is really floppy, so I put him against the wall. But like some of these eggs I made in ceramics. And I I thought <laughs> I thought I would, as a new mother, I thought, oh, wouldn't it be cute to make a egg for each year and, and the date? And I'm like, I made the one. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, what, how many did you get? But I had some other ones, like you know, polka wow. dot. And, um, and then I found some like at thrift store that are similar so I just put them in there. That's cool. Yeah. So there's some cute ones. Very cool. Little flower. And this guy I thought was funny. He actually comes apart. Oh he's cute. <laughs> but yeah very much vintagey. But you know like I'm getting to the point where my vintage stuff, my own vintage stuff I'm starting to really like it. It's kind of coming back. Yeah, yeah. So it's fun. Yeah, that's all I have. Okay. So then, should we do? Wait, are you going to show yours? Um. Yeah. You... This is more like stop the floss. Yeah. Okay. So, in honor of our Although, red, white, and blue, what? I did use floss on the um bunny oh. face, so that kind of does tie in. <laughs> on thread. So I brought, getting ready for 4th of July, well, not 4th of July, but the patriotic holidays mm -hmm. will come out. So before I put this out, I did this table runner. This is a Kim deal from the Simple what Whatnots Club, club number four. And it's just got a plain back. And then... These are all Kim Deal. Here's another Kim Deal from the Simple What Nights Club. And these are all just little quilts that I decorate with. Yeah, you have so many, I don't know where you'd even put them all. <laughs> you sound like my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, put them in a cabinet when they could be fully exposed And one other somewhere. one. I think this pattern, it was supposed to be all blue. And it's like, you can't have a quilt without red in it. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, it's cute. Added that, and this is also a Kim Deal Simple Whatnots Club piece. Just kind of a plain back. So is the club, like, is it just a book or a series? Or? It's just, you just get patterns, and we go every other month. To the clubhouse? To the quilt shop. <laughs> to the clubhouse. <laughs> the quilt shop. Um, and 
then you get the pattern and the fabric. Okay. Usually it coincides with a line that, of fabric that she is coming out with. Okay. So, um, yeah. So we do that. So you figure six a year. Yeah. Little mini quilts I'm doing. So. <laughs> She's ready to start <laughs> passing on the old ones. <laughs> Barb's <laughs> It's a lot of quilts. It is, but I, I. How many years have you been doing it? I, I think I've only maybe three years. Oh, that's it only hasn't, eighteen. Yeah, it hasn't been that many. Mm. It hasn't been that many. It seems like you have more quilts. Well, than that. but then the other months that I'm not that I don't go to <laughs> Kim Deal Simple Whatnots, then I go to Little Friendship, and then that. that that's more little quilts. I mean, I'm like a little quilt addicted here. <laughs> Are there any big quilt? Yeah, well, the, the the little friendship club that we're doing, we're doing the blocks that, okay. that was on my board. And so that will be a bigger quilt, mm -hmm. but we're doing one block. But you can do little mini quilts in between and get credit oh, on your report card. Is gone. I, yeah, I put them back for Easter. I needed it. <laughs> Done at all, <laughs> so I had to switch that. Hmm. But that's what that's what I have. Then uh, never would I ever. Oh, um, you have one. I can't remember what I said. Want me to whisper? Well, you can say it because it really doesn't make any difference. Well, it's the grand finale. Do oh, we want, do we want to give away our gift first? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, let's give away... I can't remember what it ever is. Oh my God, this is really bad. So, here <laughs> is our giveaway. It's a Waxy Moon Designs. The, um, what do they call it? Patriotic House Trio. And three flosses. And a project bag that I made. Um... I have an Etsy shop. It's Harvest Moon by the Lake. There, it, there will be a couple of these because I had some fabric left over. So they'll be in the Etsy shop if you don't win it. But, drum roll, our winner today is Jane W. Yay! Class of 68. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Jane. We loved your response. Um... You talked about how how can you have graduated in 1968 when you're only 35? <laughs> and also told a funny story about um, going into the, uh, was it the UPS, UPS store? I think, yeah. And um, they asked if you sewed and you were confused how they would know that. And then they said, well, you have thread on your shirt. And she looked down and was covered in like thaws and threads. <laughs> On the front of her shirt. So I, I could relate to that. I, I'm guilty. <laughs> so anyways, Jane, congratulations. Um, we'll need your address, of course, to get yeah, that out to you. Our email is listed below, but the email is lostinfloss2 at gmail.com. So just email us. We'll get your address, and we'll send it out to you right away. Congratulations. So, so you can get going on those patriotic houses. Yep, have it done for the 4th of July. Yeah, I have I have mine. I think I pulled out a few of the flosses. I'm going to have to get that pattern because the yeah. chart because I really like it. Yeah. It's so cute. I know. And I wanted, that's, that's why I picked it because I'm like, well, pick something I would want to yeah. stitch. Well, and I am started on, you know, the spring one. So they are fun and kind of cute little size. and yeah. Um, I, I love how they coordinate together, but each are a little different. So, but um, yeah, Jane, it's your lucky day. Congratulations. <laughs> so, and then we have Never Would I Ever. Oh, yeah. Do you remember it now? I really don't. And I should have asked you. We had technical difficulties. Yeah. So, if it's a little chopped up before this, that's because I didn't have enough storage on my phone. So, but... Do you want me to say it? Yes, say okay. it. And then you'll jog my memory because you would have just said it. <laughs> Watch for the expression on her face. Okay. Never have I ever gone to a stitching retreat. 
Oh, that's right. I never have. <laughs> Me neither. But that's about to change. Yep, it'll change the end of June because we're going to StitchCon. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! It's like our Mecca dream come true. It like, is. To be able to, to go to Treasures and... Keepsakes. Oh. <laughs> treasures. <laughs> Where is Treasures somewhere else? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no, keepsakes. We're, we're going to keep... Barb is going to Treasures. I'll drop her off there. I'm going to keepsakes. So we're, she can just do whatever she wants. I'm, I'm finishing up this video, like, just the way I started it. It's <laughs> like, true. duh. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, man. Well, I, I am really excited to go to Keepsakes <laughs> Me too. and StitchCon, and it will be fun. StitchCon, yeah, we're really excited. We were on the waiting list, um, and last week we found out that our names came up, which I was really happy because we both we signed up one right after the other mm -hmm. because we're like, well, if you're not going to go, if you can't go, I'm not going to go, right. and vice versa. So, well, yeah. you maybe you would have went without me, but I no, said I I'm not going to go without no, you. No, I wouldn't have gone without you. <laughs> So, just had to make sure that, you know, could work out the details with work and life and whatever. And so, we're we, excited. We made it work, and we're going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, um, I, I love Pam and Steph went to that other cross-stitch store in oh, yeah, Northern in Finley. Finley. Yeah. And I'm like, mm, right away. <laughs> Oh, I put it in my up? phone. I'm like, where is, oh, where is it? Is it on the way? That's <laughs> uh, how my mind works, you know. Yeah. Uh, what's the difference? You know, you're six hours away or three or two. It's all the same. Oh, yeah. So well, then I was going to say, so then Barb and I have never stitched together. Yeah. So this could be our opportunity to actually stitch, sit and together, stitch together for the first time. Yeah. If we don't do it between now and then. Uh, and there's yeah. not that much time. No. So. Probably not. Probably not. Oh, well, I mean, maybe. But you never know. Yeah. We always talk about doing a day or something. A one day, yeah. Um, yeah. Might be fun. I know. I think we should do a day. I think it would be fun. Yeah. So, one way or another, it probably will happen soon that we'll stitch together. Yeah. Even if it's one stitch. On a ginormous sampler. <laughs> <laughs> a nice big pillow sampler for Barb's couch. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could use one of those, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But, okay. So we're looking forward to that and maybe meeting some of you. Um, like, there's floss tubers that we're thrilled to be meeting. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah, please come and say hi to us. Because there's, there's going to be like 400 people. Yeah. That was like our graduating class. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it all comes And you kind of know... You, you'll you'll at least see everybody and kind of, you know, 400 on a weekend, that might be a little hard. Right. Yeah. But, you know. But I can't, yeah, I am i don't know what part of it I'm more excited about. Like, getting inside that shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I just love how it's displayed. And, I know. Um, who was it? Was it um, Linda Joe who did the? Linda Joe did the yes. video last year. She's Southern Stitcher. If yeah, wants to know. And ever since then, I'm like, I have to get there someday. Yeah, because it looks fun. Yeah, just yeah. So, anyways, that that will be coming up. Yeah. So we'll have lots of fun things this summer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and we'll see what everybody's talking about. Like, yo, you got to go to a retreat once in your life. And yeah, I mean, we the last time we, Barb and I were on a retreat, either of us was actually together, mm -hmm. and it was in high school. But we had to pray. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a religious retreat. <laughs> Which but it still was nice. Yeah, it was, it was nice. nice, but it, no stitching was done. Yeah, no stitching, no shenanigans. Nope. Um. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember where it oh, was. Oh, I'm sure there were some shenanigans, nah, but... Not too many. I can't imagine us not having shenanigans. Some kind of shenanigans. 
<laughs> but no, I remember. I, I just remember. It was very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you came so. back inspired. So Yeah. Um, but that was lots 1976. Or <laughs> so, five. Did we, were, did we go junior year? Or we went maybe in fall. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's been quite a few years. We're not counting how many. And I think we're a lot more fun now. <laughs> we were pretty fun back then, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well yeah. yeah we had some good times and but... it's been a while since we've been on a road trip together oh, yeah. vacations so yeah it'll be fun it will be fun <laughs> maybe we can stop at a cracker barrel <laughs> how do you say that i don't know like isn't that a vacation thing people do oh yeah people always go to cracker barrels yeah <laughs> but see i was just at cracker barrel last week is that where you went for Easter? No. Oh. No. We went to Outback for Easter. <laughs> what? I'm curious. What is Outback like for Easter? Just like it is for a Tuesday. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's no different. Really? Yeah. They don't have any little special Easter fun things? No. The waiters don't wear bunny ears? No. No. Oh. No, but we had excellent service. Oh, did you and go for brunch? We went, yeah, because it was probably about 1 o'clock. <laughs> oh, oh, man, we should just say goodbye so I oh. can cut this out. <laughs> okay, wait a second. So do we need a transition back in to our video? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Goodbye! <laughs> Okay, so, well, well, let's just say, you know, come and say hi to us at StitchCon. If you're there. Yeah. So, and, and we're not going to, like, overdo StitchCon no. on our videos because I, I don't want you to we feel want, bad that you're not there. Plus, we want to live in the moment. Yes. Yeah. So, I we might take a video. I think we should try to do a video with the, with some other floss tubers. Oh, yeah. It should be kind of fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just be. a little quickie. Yeah. Mm, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Go with the flow. Yeah. And the, yeah, because who knows, there might not be time. Yep. Since we got to take Barb to treasures <laughs> and keepsakes. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, there's got to be a stitch. Somebody must go to treasures. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is. I don't know why that came up. But yeah, it, I mean, it sounds like it could be a stitch shop. Maybe or a don't... pawn shop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, man. Okay. So. Okay. So with that, um, we'll stop rambling. We'll say have a good week. Um, the winner of our, our drawing, our giveaway, uh, please contact us mm -hmm. um, by our next video, which could be a uh, I think it'll be two weeks. Yeah. I know we said the last one that it would be two weeks, but, and then we did this one quick, but I think two yeah, weeks. That should work. Yeah, because we wanted to do a mania, a quick mania video before mania starts. Mm -hmm. And we had so many good responses. We're like, and there were so many, and we're like, oh, we better cut it off so that your chances of winning are better. Yeah. You know, like if five people only answer, your chances are really pretty good. Yep. And so. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, with that, happy spring. May. <laughs> happy mania. Yeah. Happy spring. Don't overdo that mania. I'm stay I'm, sania. Stay, <laughs> stay sania during mania. Really, yeah. I know. I can't wait to see other people's yeah. other stuff because I, I love, love looking at. I that. love watching the, the craziness. I really do. I do. Yeah. Um, you do. But I would. Much rather stay up for 24 hours stitching than have 30 and new I starts. I think we should do that mm -hmm. next time, Jen. I don't know what Jen's... I could very easily from like... Well, starting at 4 in the morning would be better than starting at 4 in the afternoon. Yeah, that's kind of... That like, was kind of hard, I thought. I thought that would be really hard. Because that's almost like stitching 36 hours then. Well, well, because you're not you got, stitching. You're time. not stitching, but you got you got almost like, your whole day in, mm -hmm. 
and then you get then you're starting this mm -hmm. or even like noon to noon or something like yeah. that would be a little easier right so okay and i can't do you remember that was jen right um, I believe Jim's. I don't remember what her name is. Yeah. But her, but yeah, 24 hours of stitching. You can look at the hashtag and find out. Mm -hmm. So fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, we should try that sometime. That would be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I think I could. I think I could do it. Mm -hmm. So, but you'd have to go from bigger stitch or like smaller stitch counts right. down to the bigger hard stuff. Yeah. And have hard to easy have some snack breaks oh yeah and they did i think she did yeah i don't know that i could have drink breaks no i could not I would drink be falling asleep i would yeah falling asleep and missing the hole <laughs> <laughs> unless you're stitching on that ginormous hello sam yeah well, i mean just think you know sometimes how badly you can screw up I can't imagine drinking. I know. <laughs> you know, I get aggravated with just one mistake. Right, right. Mm, so, oh well. Okay, mm -hmm. now we're rambling on because we, we just don't know how to say goodbye. So we'll just say goodbye.